Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So in this video, I want to talk about the way to use up your action points most efficiently to basically just, I guess, get the most out of the game as you can. So let's begin. First, let's bring up the current events that are running, right? And from here, you can see that there's multiple events running at this time, right? There's the release celebration event, lock-in event, where you're going to get free uh, rubies as well as release celebration medals and the release celebration medals will allow you to purchase things like Iroha's limited edition swimsuit outfit and so on so just some free stuff you know logging in every day will get you some items in addition to that the most important thing that's listed here really is this Mitama's special training for Iroha and it's also important to note that there's also this announcement here, so that, which is uh, Mitama special training for Madoka Kaname. So if you have Madoka, you should probably wait f for this event. But you should also do some special training for Iroha Tamaki right now, in my opinion. And the way these events work is they only last a very short amount of time. You can see here, 25th to 28th, right? The other, the next event then will begin on the 28th and it runs until the 2nd of July. So again, very, very short-term events. But the point of these events is, basically, there's two sections to it, right? Um, if you do the special training, okay, if you do special training enhance, the quest will give bonus experience to the magical girl in the training, okay? And however, the magical girls will not receive bonus episode points. And then there's also the Mitama special training for episode, where using the two characters in the training will receive bonus episode points, but not get bonus experience. So there you go. So breaking it down, let's go into the event, shall we? So Mitama special training. And basically, when you first go into this event, you pick the other character that you want to level up. So it pretty much means you should use both of these characters because they get bonus experience, right? And you just fight the battle, and if you clear it, you get a bunch of experience for both of the characters. Quite a bit, in fact. And then the enhanced one is for leveling up the characters, while the episode one is for their episode level. So... I did this a bunch of times so far already, um, and or from doing it, right, Madoka Kaname is already level 38, while Iroha is at level 32. So it's a lot of experience, basically, compared to, and like, you know, you look at my other characters, they're like at level 18 by comparison. So given how much effect leveling up your characters has on their stats, I think the priority right now is to definitely grind out the Mitama special uh, enhanced version, the enhancement quest, as much as you can. One thing I should mention is the advanced version has a difficult level of 50. I honestly can't even clear this with my own characters. Uh, the only reason I've managed to clear it twice so far is because I was lucky in some of my uh, the friends that you can have support you. Let me see if I can bring that up. So the friends page. There we go. So you can see here, I have a bunch of very high like, ranked people to support me. But the best one, believe it or not, was actually this rank 12 guy. Because his, uh, let me see if I can bring up the details of his character here. There we go. Because Mammy allows you to freeze the enemy targets that are attacked. And in addition to that, he this player also had like a... It was an enchantment. It was a regen memoria. So that Mammy kept self-healing and I could use her to stun my enemies, right? It made the battle much simpler to win. Ironically, I think I used this level 55 Homura and I failed the run. So 
It just shows how important being able to stun the enemies is. But yeah, that's... So basically, if you get a really, really good ally that you think can allow can carry you through the Mitama special training, by all means, use that ally to do the fight. If you're getting like a crappy ally, for example, then I suggest you, for now, focus on clearing the Magical Girl stories. The reason for clearing the Magical Girl stories, actually, is if you do three of these fights, it actually gives you an AP 50 potion. So if I, for example, if I open up Madoka Kanani's first episode, right, there's three battles, right? Just going back. Each, each of these episodes has three battles. So if you do the three battles, it uses 24 stamina. But for 24 stamina, you're getting 50 stamina back. So basically, clear all of these first episodes so that you can get additional stamina to use. Um, is there anything else to mention? So you can basically, yeah, clear all of these, right? That would be more potions. And then each potion can, can, can sorry, each potion can then be used on doing the intermediate, the initiate battles, and the advanced battles for enhancement. That way you can hopefully bring all your characters, or bring two characters, up to their max level in a very short amount of time. Other than that though, I would also continue to do as much of the main storyline as possible. And the reason for that is I just found out in the mirror section, once you reach a certain layer, there is a requirement on what chapter you've completed in the main story. So I'm at level sorry, I'm at layer level three, and I cannot do any endless mirror battles until I've done more of the story. So take that as you will. I think it's important to keep unlocking layers because doing these battles earns you these uh, mirror medals, I guess, right? And the mirror medals are also used to purchase items. So let's open the store now. First, mirror medals, right? The mirror coins can be used to purchase Fate Weave tickets, Magia chips, you know? Useful items. So it's worth continuing to do these battles if you can, right? Other than that, right? The Mitama special training, you can Every battle you do gives you some of these, uh, I guess, items to trade for very useful items. For example, I think it's worth trading for these AP potions, right? That way you can keep doing battles. So these, you get 10 points, trade for it, do some more battles. Uh, other than the AP potions, so you can also trade for Fate Weave tickets. I've already traded for three of those. And you can even trade for those rainbow orbs, which allow you to awaken magical girls. So lots of very useful items in the Mitama special training section, right? And of course, there's the release celebration medals too that you can trade for. And the release uh, celebration medals, of course, can also earn you Fate Weave tickets and, you know, AP potions and all that stuff. So I guess they're just kind of interlinked in some ways, but yeah. That pretty much sums up what I want to say. So by right now, I would say your priorities in terms of using your action points would be clear the magical girl stories, get those free AP potions, right? Clear the main story as much as you can to keep being able to do your mirror fights. And most importantly, of course, is do is to do the Mitama special trainings because these are limited time events so you should do as much of it as possible to earn as many rewards as you think you need. So there you go. That's everything about the current AP stamina usage. I hope you found this video useful. And on that note, Nitro out.